Oh, I don't know if they need you or not. But they have three. So, I mean, they have, yeah, there's three. Oh, well, we're actually just today. Okay. I mean, not, I usually can't play. Yeah. 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 Who is this father?
Good morning, everyone. There is an error in our bulletin about the stations of the cross this weekend. Stations of the cross are celebrated during Advent Friday at 6 p.m. in English and 7 p.m. in Spanish. So please note that I'm taking a look at the bulletin. The dark schedule for all of our lesson activities are posted at the church entrances and are also on the website for those of that information. We also have some new free reviews, so learn how to celebrate and select program for you with the best readings in both English and Spanish, and some music that we would like to use in the future. So those are nice, nice options for you in the future. There's readings to be on page 66 of the web celebrate. The readings are also in our gathered hymnal at number 924, and they're just really small, so I'm going to start with you. Today we celebrate the first Sunday of Lent. In our celebration, we stand in joy and sing in our gathering number 392. The Lord moved throughout these 40 days, number 392.
Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Through all their desert wanderings, O Lord our God, you led our ancestors from toil and oppression to a land of milk and honey. Through forty days in the wilderness, the Spirit led your Son from the desert's te devil's testing to victory as your servant. Lead us through these forty days of Lent and make that victory of Christ's our own, till at the font of living water, the elect find new birth, the penitent find pardon, and all rejoice to serve you alone. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Savior and Deliverer, whom you have raised from the dead, and who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Here are the words, one of the lamented hymns, uh, Return to me with all your heart. And in our first reading, Moses is setting up uh, the rules the expectations of God's people as they are about to enter the promised land. And he says to them, as we will hear, uh, the first fruits, the, the primary, what's most important to us, that gets offered to God first. That became the basis of the, the Jewish harvest festival of Shabbat and uh, the Christian uh, feast of Pentecost. First fruits to God. And in the second reading, Paul argues about what's the right relationship with God. And he said it's rooted in faith in Christ. Uh, it's not ultimately the particular rules and precepts that we follow, but underneath that has to be welcoming Christ in our heart and witnessed from our lives. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, the priest shall receive the basket from you, and shall set it in front of the altar of the Lord your God. Then you shall declare before the Lord your God, My father was a wandering Armenian, who went down to Egypt with a small household, and lived there as an alien. But there he became a nation, great, strong, and numerous. For the Egyptians maltreated and oppressed us, imposing hard labor upon us, we cried to the Lord, the God of our fathers, and he heard our cry, and saw our affliction, our toil, and oppression. He brought us out of Egypt with a strong hand and outstretched arm, with terrifying power, with signs and wonders, and bringing us into this country, he gave us this land flowing with milk and honey. Therefore, I have now brought you the first fruits of the products of the soil which you, O Lord, have given me. And having set them before the Lord your God, you shall bow down in his presence. The Word of the Lord.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, what does scripture say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is, the word of faith that we preach. For if you confess that you are with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes in the heart, and so is justified, and one confesses with the mouth, and so is saved. For the scripture says, No one who believes in him will be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all, enriching all who call upon him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Priest was walking home when 
evening, and a young man came out of an alley, put a knife in the back of the priest, said, give me your money. As the priest turned around, looked at his jacket, the young man could see the collar, the clerical collar, and he says, sorry, Father, I didn't see your collar. I don't want your money. Trembling a little, the priest trying to smooth the situation reaches into his shirt pocket and offers the young man a cigar. Here, take the cigar. The young man replies, no, I can't. I've given up smoking for Lent. Ash Wednesdays, one of those communal days, we know we have to come together, that we're about something, spoken or not spoken, that we're not in complete control, we're dust ultimately. And so we look for some ways to go through Lent, the camaraderie that uh, maybe we more visibly experienced on Fridays during Lent when you for lunch, you had your cheese sandwich or your, your tuna salad. Some of us can remember when, when you turned the radio on, you had a dial. You didn't have a, a touch screen, a digital touch screen, but there was a dial. And you slowly turned the dial on the radio, and the station would start to come in, and finally, right in the center of that spot, the station was clear. We could look upon the uh, Lenten radio dial. We tune it in and we hear this voice say that yes, Lent has penance, it has discipline to it, but it is a joyful season. A joyful season. It's intention to prepare us for the greatest feast of all. A jubilant Easter. The meaning of the word Lent uh, means uh, springtime. Not misery, not, nope, can't have the cigar. Springtime. Something new coming. We turn that radio dial a little more, another station, another voice comes in. And we hear familiar songs, familiar lyrics. We know how it goes. We sing along as it were with it. We're in the desert. And Luke tells the story of the, all in his gospel in the desert of not just what happened, but most particularly, where are we going? What's the future? And we hear that familiar story, the three temptations to Jesus in the desert. Take the bread, Jesus says, there's a deeper hunger. Take the authority, uh, and Jesus says, there's a greater authority in God. Take the glory, temptation. Throw yourself down. Be caught by angels. Be spectacular to people. Show them you're really God. Jesus says, don't tempt me. The devil, the, mean, the meaning of the word is a deceiver, a confuser, and the devil departs. But that vivid, uh, threatening last line departs for a time. And we look at parallels that Luke puts in at this beginning of Jesus' life and at the very end the parallels that we find when he is challenged three times to save himself from the perils of the cross. He's offered food, wine, take this wine. No. He's mocked as King, put on a robe, let people see who you are, you're the authority you have. No. He's jeered upon.
on the cross. If you're God's Messiah, come on down. Come on down. No, my glory is not yet. For a time, we'll let that will come back, that confuser, that deceiver. We turn the dial another time. We hear today's news, today's Lenten desert, today's Lenten cross is called the Ukraine. The devil's deceit and confusion is back again. People bury the cross trying to do what is true and just and sacrifice for each other, when will the reward come? We're not paralleling ourselves to what the people are going on right now in Ukraine. But think about the last two years when we've barely been able to celebrate the springtime of Easter. It's been almost Lent all the way through. Where is God? Where is God's hope in this desert? We, we could say we've said it in, in different ways. Where is God's hope in the wars, in the pandemic, in the disunity we can experience, in the fragility of, of, of our planet, our health, and our life? Forty years not 40 days, 40 years in the desert was the wait time that people had, the original. And waiting. But in the in the meantime, in the not yet time, we hear about that the, the third week of, of Lent, we will hear that story of the vineyard worker and the master says that no fruit on the tree, destroy it. The worker begs, give me more time. Let's wait a little longer. Wait in the meantime. And then the next week we hear the prodigal father waiting on the hill. Where is the son? Will he ever come back? Waiting. Let me share two in the meantime stances we can take during Lent, ones that have, have spoken to me. Barbara Arlen Faye is uh, the editor of the Catholic Messenger of the Davenport Diocese. She doesn't know that she's one of my spiritual directors, but she talks very plainly about just living a life, trying to follow Jesus within the family, she asked her husband, Steve, you know, what are you going to do for this Lent? And he said, I'm going to just do more good for others. He heard one of his friends, a widower, say, you know, I just would love to have a, a meat and potato simple meal again. So that's what Steve prepared. Simple meal. He took it unannounced to this widower and to another widower he knew and to a family that was struggling. To do just more good for others. And he's identified, according to his wife, nine other people who during Lent is going to take an unexpected meal. This time it'll be meatballs. Pope Francis and his Lenten message this year invites us to sow seeds of goodness so that we might reap a harvest of salvation. He, he takes these words from uh, Paul's letter to the Galatians as, as a, a way to frame how we go about, you know, we're not going to maybe stop a war, but we can still do good to others. And Paul says, let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due time we shall reap our harvest if we do not give up. 
The second place where at least I find something to do in the meantime is we're still not to the springtime of Easter. A classmate of mine, Father Med Labs, talks about some friends that he knows that are uh, during this Lent that every day either emailing somebody or voicemailing or giving a card or a call each day to someone else who means something special in their life. Just letting them know. If you can't come up, my thought, with 40 people, you can go back, repeat it to some of those others, that there are people in our life who mean something. That radio guy, we're all in different places, we're all tuning in on different questions during Lent. What speaks to us? We're all still in the meantime. Yes, the devil, the deceiver, will come back. We know that. But we also know that the Lord is here as well. Maybe it all comes down to the final station we turn to on the Lenten radio. And we hear the song, we've heard it before, from the Shapers. get us through the mean time. And sometimes it is mean. Sometimes though, and this is Lent, it also means that we expect something more. When true simplicity is gained, to bow and to bend, we shan't be ashamed to turn. Turn will be our delight. This last line gets us through. Till by turning, turning, we come wrong right. Another way we get to the meantime is to return to who we are and reaffirm that I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him, all things were made. For us, for our salvation, He came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son, Lord and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen.
Lord, often we hope to relent. We can come to you in prayer to sustain us, give us meaning and hope in this meantime. For our members of the church during this season of Lent, that they be examples of faithful service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the civil leaders of our nation and our city, that they always act with justice and compassion, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who are afflicted or suffering temptation, that they be strengthened by God's grace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for those among us who will today be numbered among the elect, that they may be richly blessed in this time of preparation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the members of our community, that we accept God's call to repentance in His holy time, we pray to the Lord. Lord that world leaders work together to immediately end the violence in Ukraine, that the aggressors be stopped and retreat, and that the Ukrainian people Find the country restored. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For all the intentions of this mass be heard, especially for all our prisoners. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Lord, even in our prayers, our fasting, our almsgiving, lift us up, even in these struggles we have with ourselves to live this Lent as a springtime, bringing us closer to the source of our life and love. To this we pray through Christ our Lord. Brothers and sisters, students, boys and girls, we pray that these gifts be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father and Creator. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all for the church. Give us right dispositions, O Lord, we pray, to make these offerings for which for with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable and sacred time through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By abstaining forty long days from earthly food, Jesus consecrated through his fast the pattern of our Lenten observance 
and by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpent, taught us to cast out the leaven of malice, so that celebrating worthily the paschal mystery, the life, death, and resurrection of Christ, we might pass over at last to the eternal paschal feast. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim.
through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Devil, confuser, deceiver. We turn to the Lord's Prayer to show us the truth in life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be in thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our day, that with the help of your mercy we may be free from all sin and safe from all distress as we await in blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your disciples everywhere, my peace I give you, my peace is with you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, Graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. Amen. We reflect that camaraderie that we experienced on Ash Wednesday as we share Christ's sign of peace as we all journey together through the Lenten desert.
body of Ramesh. 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 Let us pray. We have begun our Lenten walk, Lord, toward the Passover of your Son's resurrection. Send us your holy angels to keep us all on our paths. Stay with us in our trial, and we will glorify you forever and ever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Traditional Lenten disciplines of prayer, fasting, almsgiving. We have some assistance for, for all of those. Our uh, black folks can help us with prayer. Uh, with a thought six minutes of each day during Lent. Some thoughts on parables and some other information about our Catholic culture. Uh, there's still a limited number of these books available at the, uh, at the vestibule of the church, as you are on the left-hand side. So this is for prayer. For almsgiving, we have the uh, rice bowl uh, boxes here that uh, we fill them up with loose change and uh, whatever we have during Lent, and then at the end of Lent, we bring them back. The Catholic Relief Services, which reaches out around the world, including the Ukraine, uh, will benefit from these uh, Lent for Life uh, Catholic Rites Bowls. So again, you'll find these as you mix in the church. Our, our website, the parish website, has the uh, calendar of uh, uh, Lenten uh, experiences as well as the parish survey. So if you haven't taken the survey yet, we'd appreciate your uh, doing so. And again, you can do that online. Stations of the Cross, a little confusion about this. Uh, every Friday, six o'clock in English, seven o'clock in Spanish. Our Girl Scouts have uh, cookies that are waiting for you outside. 
Um, if you're uh, going to hold off on Lent, you can still freeze the thin mints. So they're out there for you to, uh, uh, to enjoy. There's an insert in the bulletin about the uh, coming Supreme Court decision on, uh, on abortion. A good background that you might uh, uh, appreciate. And finally, to split the pot of that, that benefits our school. And one winner, uh, the split the pot is over 43,000 now, so you can get chances for that out in the vestibule as well. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We've gathered in faith before the Lord. We go in confidence that the Lord will lead us through the desert to this springtime of new life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our session ends number 388, the glory of the CBAs.